Good morning everyone, Sophia here. It's our last day, it's our last day of vacation. We are leaving Plymouth, we just checked out of the hotel um, and we made a change of plan. All right, so I got tickets for the Pilgrim Hall, which is the uh, Pilgrim Museum here in Plymouth. We're gonna do that this morning. First, we're going to Pebbles, which is right below it, right across from the Plymouth Rock uh, for breakfast. Um, so I'll show you that. However, <laughs> Pilgrim Hall will not authorize pictures or video. Absolutely none, bar none. You people sneak them on Instagram. If you do Pilgrim Hall Museum, you know, as an hashtag, you're gonna see some pictures that people sneaked in, but I'm not gonna do that. So there will be um, no footage of that. And um, which, two things. One, it's a good thing it helps you focus on the exhibit too is a bad thing because I can't share it and advertise for them and tell you guys how awesome it was and give you kind of a preview of what they have so I don't know about the strategy okay Concord Museum you could film anything you wanted to say don't worry just please hashtag make sure you post it on Facebook let us know about your video they were all happy about it these guys over here they're like no <laughs> <laughs> we don't allow video. Okay, whatever. So you won't see anything about uh, the hall uh, But I'll tell you about it <laughs> once we're done and then um, Part two of the trip today on our way home Initially we were gonna do Mark Twain's house And then we thought well, you know what he had like about four of those and we I think I saw two of them already I didn't see this one but I think I already saw two, uh, the one in, in uh, New York and then there's another one somewhere else. So, eh. Then we thought, okay, let's go to Martha's Vineyard. But it's kind of a hike to get there and it's actually pushing us away from home. Uh, Cape Cod, same thing. We thought about going to Cape Cod yesterday and we don't really know what's there. However, <laughs> When in doubt, there's always Stockbridge, Massachusetts, where we've been in the past, Scott and I, when Edward was two and a half years old, we met my sister and my mom there because they were visiting Boston at the area at, at that time. Uh, that's where the Red Lion Inn is and all of that, but, but, but it's also the hometown of Norman Rockwell and they just so happened to have a special exhibit of fantasy in illustration. Uh, at the normal Rockwell Museum, so that's where we're going. It's two and a half hours from here And then it's another two and a half hours from there to home. So hey Willie Hi. So that's what we're doing after our Pilgrim Hall and I checked you can take all the pictures and all the videos You want at the Rockwell Museum, which is kind of weird because it's all copyrighted material It doesn't make any sense. What would they and Pilgrim Hall doesn't anyway? I'm gonna rant about Pilgrim Hall not authorizing video and photos for quite some time, I think. Um, overall, how was the trip, boys? I thought it was okay. The trip was okay, okay. What did you like best? Uh, I liked the uh, reenactment of the... The plantation? Yes. Okay, all right. Edward, what did you like best? Uh, I like Boston. You like Boston? Yeah, I also like going to Harvard and I did like a bit of Concord. Yeah. Um, some of Plymouth here is pretty cool too. Plymouth is really cool. Okay. Yeah. Scott, what did you like best? The Constitution. <laughs> no surprise there. Yeah. The Constitution. Okay, and next after that? Uh, after that, well, uh, you know, I did like the, um, I did like the, the Plymouth Plantation. Yeah. Uh, I think quite a bit. That was pretty cool. Okay. Um, yeah, the older stuff. I liked, uh, you know, kind of the narrow streets in Boston mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, just the, the historical sites there. Okay. Pretty cool stuff. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, me loved the plantation. I thought the plantation was really, really cool. I could have spent the whole day there. Loved the plantation. Um, U.S.'s Constitution was, was good, but I mean, that's more his stuff than my stuff. Uh, Paul Revere's house, that was great. Even though it's three rooms, little, <laughs> there's nothing to see there, but I don't know. I just, and then Concord. Concord, I really like. But Plymouth is a great town. What did you like least? Uh, I didn't really like Boston. 
You didn't like Boston? No. Really? What? Oh, we walked a lot. It was two hours of walking. It was very crowded. It was more than two hours. It was more than two hours. That's right. It was very crowded. The subway made no sense. Uh, yeah, the subway was kind of weird to figure out. Okay. So you're a small town guy, huh? You're a small town guy. Okay. I, I just can't handle more than three people. <laughs> <laughs> we made it. <laughs> what did you like least, Ed? What did I like least? Uh, I guess like Salem. Salem? Yeah, that was kind of boring. I was just like, oh my god, when are we going home? <laughs> when are we going home? Like, it's a story I've heard before. Yeah. Or read about before. So. And you read the crucible, it, so yeah. Yeah, hearing it was just kind of like, eh, well, at least they're being accurate. And then when we got out into the gift shop, it was like, oh look, Harry Potter toys. And I'm like, what does this have to do with anything? Like, oh look, magic's in it, therefore witches. Like, it's, it's, ugh. Okay, all right. What did you like least? Salem. Yeah. Once we got past the story, it was kind of like, you know, like, they, there wasn't, yeah, I, you're right. I think that they could have done a lot more to reinforce the story and also, you know, whatever, whatever other history the town has, because it's not just about the witches, you know. Mm. And they didn't do anything about that. Like, I didn't even know, before I got there, I didn't even know that it was a port. Right. So, okay. That would have been good. All right. And what did I like least? Salem. <laughs> I couldn't wait to get out of Salem. Uh, listen. Sorry, Willie. I, I don't want to insult anybody who's from Salem, who loves Salem. It's just, it's, it was just not for us, okay? We just, it, it was just... And, and, you know, I talked to Helen about that, Nurse Helen, and she says, yeah, the town gives her the creeps. She says, like, it's all about the occult and stuff, and she says, like, it's a really creepy town. I didn't feel creepy anything in no, there. I, didn't, I, didn't feel I just, I just... It just felt cheap. It, yeah. You know, it felt like it felt like a tourist trap. If yeah, that's exactly what it is. It's too bad. So we did not enjoy Salem at all. Um, but anyway, let's go to Pebbles and uh, the museum. So I'm going to show you the food at Pebbles, the outside of the museum. If they have some kind of an outdoor exhibit, I'll show that to you. Um, and that's about it. And I just realized yesterday that while we were in Boston, I totally forgot to buy Boston Tea Party tea. So yeah, I could order it online, it's but it's not the same. <laughs> so I'm hoping that maybe, perhaps, the uh, Pilgrim Home uh, gift store has tea, because uh, uh, I can't possibly come back with a tea, right? Right. Right. Okay. Well, it's all in the harbor. It's all in the harbor. Okay. See you in a bit. Tea is all in the harbor. Oh. Oh, the tea's all in the harbor. <laughs> the tea party. Oh, funny. Hey, did you know that Paul Revere was one of the guys that did the uh, tea party? No. He was one of the guys who dumped the uh, the tea. It's not surprising. Yeah, my man. Okay, <laughs> off we go. to Plymouth uh, we're about ready to have breakfast and we have a much clearer view of Cape Cod on the other side here let's see if I can give you a zoom because it's been foggy and uh, not the best of weathers while we were here but we didn't mind so here's Cape Cod the tip 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 province town uh, province town all the way over there and again this is where the original pilgrims landed uh, when they were on the Mayflower. So we are at low tide. Willie says there's a, a piece of wall missing. Look, th there's a piece of wall missing everywhere. Oh. Do you know what this is for? No. When the tide is super, super high, uh -huh. the water pours through here. Wait, wait. Otherwise, otherwise, it would break the wall. When you have a storm it the releases the pressure. Over the, over the wall. Okay, so here is. Uh, part of the uh, harbor so gift stores and then this guy here Yogi's Cafe apparently does uh, lobster stuff but Pebbles um, is right over there and you probably recognize it from last video the earliest one um, the Mayflower is over there and then that big structure with the columns in the back is where the Plymouth Rock is 
heard that. It's super pretty here. We love Plymouth, we really do. And here's Pebbles. Uh, they offer breakfast, lunch, dinner, and uh, they also an ice cream bar, I understand. Oh no, we out of luck. <laughs> the chef didn't show up today, he's gonna be late. Therefore, there's no griddle. <laughs> you can't get pancakes today at Pebbles. Sorry, Pebbles. Uh, we're going somewhere else because we have to have breakfast before the museum opens. Otherwise, we won't make it on time to Stockbridge. So, checking out um, another place. We're going back onto Main Street. I'm such a tourist, I had the wrong address. <laughs> so it's right there on Main Street. Pilgrim Hall Museum, and see, here's another one of those seashells. Uh, what kind of, uh, is that a fox in gray? I don't know. But here's the museum, America's Museum of Pilgrim Possession. So every artifact from the pilgrim is here. Uh, those that were donated to the museum and I can't wait to go in yay they allowed me to take pictures so I'm gonna show them um, probably the highlights because I don't want to show you the whole museum very good the museum was very very good it's amazing the amount of artifacts that they have um, of course no fabric you know manage through time but they have cradles they have pieces of furniture they have tools they have a lot of bibles bibles that were brought by the pilgrims and written in the 1500s so i have pictures of those i'm going to insert them there uh lots of tools and uh spears and swords and armors what else did they have guys do you notice chairs model ships Mo they have a model ship model of the uh, uh mayflower and then there's a gallery of paintings including um a few that really stood alone for us so stood out um there's a sergeant painting there's the one that's the uh, signing of the uh, uh mayflower compact that i really like personally uh, they have um, recreation of costumes um, that was very very good as well it was interesting at least and then there's a gallery where you absolutely cannot take pictures so I'm not going to show you that is a lady from Plymouth herself who is um, doing a series of uh, embroidery hand stitched tapestry panels of the history of Plymouth starting from um, the beginning of the Church of England and you know the upheaval with the separation with the Protestant Calvinism and all of this all the way up to their voyage right now she's on the part where uh, she's talking about well she's showing in a tapestry the uh, Wapanoag um, nation so she has you know all the scenery and um, she has six panels done and I think there's 14 or something like that coming up and she hand dry you know 
draws them. And then if I find pictures from a website, I'll insert them here. Um, but it was very well done. It's small, but you get everything you need to know about the pilgrims and the objects and lifestyle that they had in England, in Holland, and here when they arrive in the colony. Um, I'm very happy. I really wanted to see this. So that will conclude our pilgrim journey. Scott, what did you think of the museum? Uh, uh, it was nice. <laughs> You're not a fan. Uh, it was okay. You know, it, it, it does inform you and uh, it, it kind of fills in the blanks. So you're not just thinking, uh, you know, the pilgrims and the, the simple story of uh, Thanksgiving and all that. You know, it kind of goes beyond the, um, the stuff that you might learn in uh, elementary school about Thanksgiving. Uh, so, you know, some of the things that kind of filled in for me were things like... Uh, how they were constantly asking uh, their benefactors in England for money, and uh, apparently their debt may have been as high as 7,000 pounds, which would have been a lot of money back then, and, and meanwhile the, the town itself uh, may have only made about 1,700 pounds uh, over the course of several years. So they, they ended up, you know, ending their lives with a lot of debt as a, as a colony is concerned. Uh, and um, and then there was another poster there that they uh, they show where they show everybody that landed in Plymouth uh, versus how many were still alive the next year. So that was uh, rather it was about a third of the people mm -hmm. were still alive, and there were a lot of orphan children uh, too. So I can only imagine that they were taken in by other families. Yeah. Uh, in the area. Well, actually, one of the families, um, a husband and a wife, and I think it was Winslow's family, before they left to come here, um, they were given four kids. There was four kids that were given to the pilgrim to bring to America. The, the parents did not want them. Uh, and I think the father, the story is that the mother was adultery. Um, you know, cheated, and he doubted these were his kids, so he literally gave them to the pilgrims, and they had to bring the kids over with them. Uh, and one of them ended up with uh, uh, the Winslow family. Um, so there was a lot of orphans on the ship too, and there was also indentured servants. I think there was 40 or so indentured servants. Um, there were people who were, you know, given, you're gonna work for me for 10 or 15 years, and then once your contract with me is done, you'll get land and you'll get paid. Um, so There was maybe three families that made it intact for that year, first year. Right, so it's, it was very interesting. Willie, give us your best me. Me. <laughs> me. Me. Everything is a me with him. Okay, Ed? That's pretty good. Yeah? Uh, I like the big model ship in there. That was pretty interesting to look at. Uh -huh. uh, the paintings were also good. Some of them were better than others, though. Okay. Uh, they had a 1949 like magazine cover, and I like the art on it. Okay. Uh, regarding like anything I actually learned, it's kind of stuff I've already seen. So. Okay. All right. Well, obviously I'm the only one who's excited about the pilgrims, so <laughs> that's okay. But listen, as an immigrant, I, I relate. You didn't grow up with it. I, I didn't grow up with it, and, and I get it. You know, you come here with one suitcase, you don't know what you're going to find, uh, and you just got to make do, okay? And and I get that. I totally get it. You guys, you, you just grew up with this stuff. It doesn't mean much for you. But anyway, so I bought a new mug, and this, the pleasures of the taste. Uh, recipes from 17th century Massachusetts. Anybody want some gruel for dinner? <laughs> uh, goodbye Plymouth, one hour. We? we are going to Stockbridge, Massachusetts. We're gonna have plenty of time. Look at that, we're a, a, a whole hour ahead. We'll be there at 2.30. Um, we're going to see the um, Norman Rockwell Museum. We'll see you in a bit. Thank you.
uh, Stockbridge, Massachusetts. I gotta tell you, Western Massachusetts is stunning. It is so pretty. Um, we are off Main Street. You saw the Red Lion Inn. We've been there before, long time ago when the kids were babies. Um, so we've seen it before and we're not gonna go back, but we're looking for a place to eat. So we're gonna check out Michael's right here. That's uh, off Main Street. See what they get for menu and uh, a ticket for the museum at our, are at 3.30. So that gives us plenty of time. And I think I'm gonna pick some wild flowers before we leave, because I'm seeing a lot of yarrow on the side of the road. And supposedly it's very good for um, upset stomach and sleeping and all sorts of other ailments so let's see what they have on the menu Okay, lunch was pretty good. Yeah, no, yeah, it was. It was pretty good. So we good. went again. We went to Michael's in uh, Stockbridge, and uh, I can't remember the street, but it's actually kind of a charming little side street. It's off Main Street. A lot of houses, little shops. Unfortunately, we don't have time to check them out because uh, our ticket for the museum is at 3:30, and it's already 3:08 or something like that. It's not that far but we want to be able to go around the grounds and see uh, I think his house is there too um, so pretty excited about having made it on time to be able to see the normal Rockwell Museum we couldn't see it the last time do you remember why we just didn't have a time right we didn't know it was there for one thing uh, yeah well so that's that and then we just came in and then left the same day. Yeah, we were just. We here didn't to even see your stay overnight. Mom. Yeah, mom and my sister were visiting Boston area, and we decided to meet halfway between, you know, our town, and Boston, wow. and it turned out to be around here. So we came in, did a day trip real quick, um, had a dinner, and that was it. Um, but this town is very pretty. Saint Joseph. It's uh, an old mm -hmm. town. Lots of. Um, Victorian this church St. Joseph Church 1862 lots of Victorian homes gingerbread houses beautiful manicured gardens Stockbridge is very pretty okay um, we're on our way to the museum I'll see you there
was great. It was. It was amazing. Hold the camera and you can't, because you're the artist, I'm just, uh, I know nothing. <laughs> you know yeah. nothing about it? No. Oh, I just enjoy it. Eye candy, that's it. The Pegasus <laughs> woman was beautiful. And then, you know, I already talked to you about which ones of my, uh, of the Rockwells are my favorite. Do you know which one did Ian have? Which one? The Vacation. The people go oh, on vacation going, one and way they, and then they come back and they're yeah. all excited except grandma, she's the same either way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a picture right here. All right, so go ahead, tell us about it. Well, it, it, it had just about every illustrator, every, every artist that uh, I studied in college, illustration-wise. Just about. I mean, uh, I think... Woo! Oh, there's a big storm coming. I think uh, I think if we had had a class at that exhibition, it, it would have been better than our illustration history class was. I mean, this is, it was just fantastic. It, like being able to get up that close. I had never really been up that close to, a, say, a Frazetta uh, or, uh, or uh, well, we did go to that Maxfield Parish. Did you see the parish? Yeah, they only had one, though. That's the there only was one parish. That, yeah. That's the only downside of it. Okay, what are we looking at here? The world of Zephyrus. Okay. Oh, that's the Greek god of wind, uh, West Wind. The Greek god of who? Wind. Basically. The Greek god of wind. Yes. Oh yeah, I can, I can, I can totally see it. Look at the storm coming. I rather look at that. <laughs> A big storm coming. This is great. Okay, so there's an art exhibit outside, and we're on our way to Rockwell Studio right now. All right, Willie Stern. Willie, my budding artist, what did you think? Well, I thought most of them were good. Uh-huh. Uh, I want to try doing something like that, but I'm not going to be able to get anywhere close to that, like anywhere close to some of the paintings there. Why? Because I have very little experience using anything other than... Uh, you, you know what comes with experience? What, and tandem with experience? Practice. Uh, time. <laughs> you gotta give it time. <laughs> Maybe not now, but 10 years from now you'll be... Do you think the 14 year old is artist? No, I know for a fact they're in their like 40s or 20s. Exactly. So you gotta give it time and you'll be able to get there. Okay? I think you're very talented and there's no doubt in my mind you can do the same stuff. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Ed, your turn. What? What did you think? Uh, exciting. Yeah? It was cool to see uh, like stuff that I recognized there. Uh, I liked a lot of the art, uh -huh. obviously. Uh, there was like this cool sculpture at one point of like a giant monkey. It was really cool. Oh yeah, the big yeah, mask? Yeah, that one. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, that was scary. So you like this? I don't want to draw stuff now. He wants to draw stuff and he got the book from the exhibit. Uh, so we're arriving at the studio. Rockwell Studio and uh, I am loving this weather. Check it out. Look at this weather. It looks like a big storm is brewing. Fantastic colors. And here is Norman Rockwell's studio. He had a view. Look at this view. He could see the weather coming. He probably timed himself where he knew exactly if the clouds were breaking. Second mountain, I had eight minutes to get back to the house. Hop ready. Mask up. Okay, you got a mask up.
got caught in the rain. <laughs> Thank goodness I had a hat. Uh, and then uh, one of the window uh, was left open. And of course it was on my side. So now my seat is all wet. <laughs> Yay for vacation. Uh, I'm not even upset. So we had a good time. We had a good time. This is the end of our vacation. We had a great time. Was it well put together? Yeah, it was. And did we deserve to go on vacation? Yes, we did. We absolutely did deserve to go on vacation. It was seriously needed as a family. Sometimes you got to do that. Um, boys, from zero to ten, how would you rate your vacay? Nine. Yes. Nine. Willie says a nine. Ed says a nine. Why a nine and not a ten? Um, I mean, we did go to Salem. Uh, because Salem. <laughs> <laughs> so without Salem, it'd be a 10. <laughs> okay, fair warning. Your vacation will be a 9 if you go to Salem. A 10 if you don't. Um, okay, so we're heading back home. It's, what time is it? 5.15, we'll be home before 8 o'clock. Um, can't wait to see my, my fur babies. Right, Willie? Can't wait to see your cat, right? Yes. Okay. Can't wait to see my Electra and Lashif. And uh, I tell you what, guys, is this was really good. This was really good. The museum here was great. Um, and then I learned something, the lady in the studio, the little boy all the way on top of the family tree with the uh, cute little red hair, that's her brother. And apparently everybody you see, almost everybody who's a model and you see in Norman, Norman Rockwell paintings, are relatives to one another. It's like this girl's little brother, that guy's uncle, the guy who used to deliver the mail, and his brother, and then you see them over and over again, um, sometimes aging through paintings. You gotta pay close attention, because he kind of, you know, changed their hair color and things like that, but it's the same faces, which was really interesting. My feet are soaked wet. Could we have the uh, air only up and not throughout the whole car? because I'm gonna be like, my teeth are gonna chatter soon. Um, and that was it, a great museum. The fantasy exhibit was beautiful. So many talented people. Um, I'll say it again, take a vacation if you can. Uh, it was a good way to get away from everything and then recharge, go back home um, and dream of the next vacation. Thank you for watching guys. I will see you next time. Bye. Thank you.